Welcome back to the restaurant show. We are here at Brennan Cellars over on the far west side of Madison. And if you're like me, the idea of wine and cheese pairings or beer and cheese pairings might be something that intrigues you, but also escapes you at the same time. So we're going to be uh, edumacated here today. This is Brock and Tim from Brennan Cellars. How are you guys? Good morning. How are you? How are you? Very good, very good. We're glad to be here today. So Tim, uh, talk to us a little bit about uh, what you have going on at Brennan's in terms of uh, wine and beer and, and, uh, and cheese as well, because obviously people know Brennan's for cheese, but just kind of give us an overview of some of the products that you carry here. Sure, people familiar with Brennan's will know us for our, our cheese selection right. for sure, maybe first and foremost. Right. Um, we'd like to clue everyone in on what we have to offer as far as our uh, cheese and wine and, and, and beer offerings go as well. Right. Um, they do change with the seasons, and uh, we're here to kind of uh, uh, pair the two together, or three together, I guess. All right. All right. Well, I'm excited about that. So, Brock, you are our resident expert here today. So, talk to us. you got a huge display. This is a <laughs> lot to cover. So, and I'm getting excited looking at it here. So, talk to us a little bit about what we have, what we have here and what we're going to be trying. So, uh, we chose a variety of Wisconsin cheeses. Um, uh, pretty dramatic uh, differences in um, the strength of the cheese, essentially. Sure. Um, so we started with the mildest, which would be uh, an Apple Jack. It's a Ooh, type okay. of Monterey Jack, a little more full flavored than a standard Monterey Jack. Um, then we also have our three-year aged cheddar, one of our okay. best-selling cheeses. And then we are going to round it off with our Blue Ribbon Blue Cheese, which is going to be the strongest, most pungent of the cheeses. Okay. It tends to be a little more difficult to pair wine and beer with something that's so strong. Okay. But we have some great options here. Um, the best way to consider starting off with... Uh, what you're going to pair with your mm -hmm. cheese is going to be um, generally start with the mildest and okay. go to the, the strongest in flavor. Okay. And then um, you also want, you can pair two different ways. You can either pair um, for a contrast in flavor okay. or uh, for a um, kind of a flavor that will blend and meld the flavors together. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so we would start off over here. Uh, with the apple jack. Okay. If you'd like to take a yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me grab a toothpick here. And so the, the product we chose today um, is a white wine from Luxembourg. Okay. It's a white blend. So it's going to be crisp, fruit forward, okay. uh, dry finish. Okay. Um, but that lightness of the wine pairs perfectly with the, the lighter style of cheese. Okay. So just take a bite of this and then a sip of this. Absolutely. That's how, how we do yep. it. Okay. Yes, yeah, very mild cheese. This wine is a blend of Pinot Blanc, Pinot, uh, Pinot Blanc, Auxerrois, which is another Pinot variant, and then uh, mm, yeah. Pinot Gris. Mm, yeah, that's perfect. And then on the beer side, we chose uh, Port Huron's Oktoberfest out of okay. Wisconsin Dells. Okay. Um, great local brewery. The Oktoberfest tends to be a malt forward um, with some bready notes to it okay. and a little bit of sweetness. Again, it's a it's. Not gonna. The, there's no big hop character to overwhelm the mildness of the cheese. Okay. Um, so if you if you sure, sure. try to yeah, I'll give you that. You want to well. hand that off to me here? Definitely. This is Oktoberfest from is, uh, Port, Port Huron Brewing Port in Huron. Wisconsin oh, wow. Dells. Mm, all right, take a bite of cheese here. And something, if you are doing a long tasting uh, where you're tasting multiple items, um, it's always best to have a palate cleanser in between. We uh, choose water crackers. Okay. Mild, no extra flavor, mm. but it does cleanse your palate. That's very good. That's very good. They do go well together. All right, I'm going to try one of these crackers, as long as I don't spit into one of your uh, <laughs> other beers here. All right, so what do we got next? Then I would move on to the three-year aged cheddar. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a sharper cheddar. Um, this one is kind of right in between where it starts to get really crumbly and oh, sure, starts yeah. to develop crystals. Mm -hmm. it's, it's before that, so it's a little bit smoother, but it is still sharp. Okay. Um, to stand up to that big flavor, you generally want to stick with a bigger, bolder red. Okay. Um, Cabernet is a great choice, but in this case, we chose an Old Vine Malbec from Argentina. Okay. Um, Ooh, wow. It's a fantastic product. Um, I don't know if I've had this before. Have you had Malbec at all? I don't think I, don't think I have. Right. I don't think I have. I, it's a great uh, one to try. Mendoza, Argentina, um, people familiar with wine will know that's their try main export it. grape. Um, this version is fantastic. It's a 115-year-old wine. So okay. All they've right. been growing in Argentina for that long, and it's producing some great wine. All right. Cheese is delicious. And as these guys are uh, trying the wine, um, I'll move on mm. to the beer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, uh, sharp cheddars, 
that strong flavor, the sharpness of the of the cheese itself. You want to um, have something bold enough to stand up to that. Right. And in this case, I chose Lakefront's IPA. Okay. Classic West Coast style IPA, pine, citrus, grapefruit rind flavors. Okay. But this uh, specific version is very balanced for an IPA. Sometimes West Coast IPAs get a little out of hand. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit uh, like chewing on pine needles at some point <laughs> or grapefruit right. rind. Um, but this one is much more balanced. Um, a really great uh, product from Lakefront Brewery in Milwaukee, one of Wisconsin's oh, oldest like microbreweries. I like that. I'm not, a, you know, I'm normally not a huge fan of IPAs. This is good. I like this. It's one mm. of my one of, one of my personal favorites. Mm. They've and super consistent mm. across the board. Yeah, so. yeah, very much so. All right, we got just about a minute left, so sure. we're going to yeah, finish the it out here. Biggest challenge. Uh, so a blue cheese tends to be very um, pungent and strong mm -hmm. flavored. Mm -hmm. um, can be tend to be difficult to uh, pair product with that. In this case, we chose uh, Quinta de la Rosa's uh, Ruby Port from okay. Portugal. Okay. Um, what this has is a nice fruit character, a bit of sweetness. This specific port has a little less sweetness than some that are almost syrupy. Okay. Um, but I like how that dry finish kind of cleanses the palate from the, the strength of the blue cheese. Okay. Blue cheese. Nice. I don't normally eat blue yes. cheese straight up, but we're going to do it today here, folks. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Again, our Blue Ribbon Blue uh, it has won um, championship awards uh, for several mm. different years. That's a fantastic pairing. Perfect. Yeah. Mm, I love that. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> All right, and then what, what's and then, the... And then for the beer, uh, we chose a special release from Milwaukee Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. um, their Grand Madam Brandy Barrel Aged Barley Wine. Mm. So barley wines tend to have similar characteristics to port wine, mm -hmm. uh, dried fruit, nuttiness, um, usually a bit higher alcohol content. Okay. How, what I like about this one is that um, it, it kind of does a similar thing that the port wine does. The fruitiness uh, kind of lifts away from that pungency of the blue cheese. And um, the brandy barrel that they age it in also gives it a little more vanilla note mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. And it's a great finish on the, on the beer as well. Well, folks, if you're an idiot like me and you don't know what any of that stuff means that he just said, come and talk to Brock here at uh, Brennan Sellers, and he will educate you and he will help you find the perfect pairing. Brock, I want to thank you so much for thank your time you. today. It's good seeing you again, Tim. By. Don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up after the break. Stick around.